Hello and welcome to the bathroom. Again. Last video was a bust, unfortunately, so hopefully this will go smoother. This video is kind of an improv version. But what will we be using? First of all, we'll be using a Weishi blade with the Yaki carved head. Well, for me, what's interesting is we're going to use this. Tale of Old Bond Street. I think it's called Jermaine Street. Um, and as you see over here is for sensitive skin. I've never tried this before, only heard wonderful stuff. Now I know that it contains scents like bergamot, lavender. I'm kind of allergic to lavender, so I am actually kind of eager to see if I get a reaction from it this even though it is for sensitive skin but we'll be using this wonderful brush Yankee 24 millimeter very nice sort of racing handle we'll put that on the wooden mark pre-shave <coughs> parasol blue we'll wet the face I just got out of the shower. Okay. I like that soap. <coughs> and while I let that soak, I'll put in the blade. Almost fell to the floor that one. Now this is double wrapped. And apparently quite difficult to get into. Ah. There you go. Let's see if I can do this without cutting myself open. I'm tired, it's late, but here it is. I don't know if you can see it because I cannot see what you're seeing. First use on the yak on the Wishi, not Yaki blade, Wishi blade. Heaters turning on. Nice. So look, it's sort of a mid aggression. Time for this. The lid is actually littered with cream. I didn't notice that before. I haven't noticed that. So I've just gotten some new shaving gear, even some Parasa White, which I'll be using in the future, and Mitchell's all that. Now the last video, it has sort of a yellow tarnished taint to it, and when I just looked at it, it's just the iPad which I was using to, to, to record it with, it popped up with an error code and then the, the video was sort of tainted or it was corrupt somehow, it just couldn't play it more than once and then it just... Or something was wrong. So now I'm using the phone. Hoping that will be better. Okay. So if you're suffering some sensitive skin, you 
you might want to let the breeze shapes soak in a bit, which I'm going to do while I lather it. It's just going to sit there, even go into the skin. So we'll see if this, how this is and how the scent is. Now I do have the, I believe it's called St. James shaving cream in the drawer in case this smells awful. Nothing else yet. Okay. Right now I'm not getting any kind of scent. So that's, I wouldn't call it disappointment, but it's surprising. As you know, I've seen a lot of folks shave with it, talking about the scent and the performance. But that much can change. The fine shaving pool. I'm not really getting anything. Now that's so sort of strange in my opinion. Doesn't have any data on it to see if it's expired. It's the number coding. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how it goes when we start the lighting process. Brush. Let's give it a go. Oh, much more water than what I had on. There you go. Is my nose bust or something? Did I get a scent of this? Brass or green? No. I can't smell this, it smells wrong. Smell it just fine. Nothing's wrong with the nose, so. Look at this, straight away. Send this card, but it's just really nothing I'm getting. I was actually, I mean, I must tell you, I'm a bit disappointed actually. There's hardly any scent in this whatsoever. Uh, that might be because the sample that I've gone is bad or but but look at this. This is nice. Nice soap, you know. Soap quality is, is and the mount is completely off the charge here. But scent wise I am not at all blown away. I am sorry. For those of you who enjoy this, but perhaps we'll see. Now I'll start by lathering my face, my chin, sorry, my neck, because that's my most sensitive area. Then I'm just going to let it soak actually, and I'll wait for as long as possible to shave that area so that the soap actually gets to do its job, which is to soak the skin bristles. And the soap quality on this is top dollar. That's yeah. nothing said about that at all. Nice quality soap. Now you can feel it, sense it. But in terms of scent, it's not very powerful. It's getting there to my nose. Perhaps it's was overpowered by the Parasso blue I had on my... my yeah, it, it, I, I'm standing corrected, it has actually slowly 
getting there, but it's not much. It's pleasant, but not particularly strong. Right now, I'm getting about I don't know. Zero is simplest. And I believe that from one to from zero to ten. Zero to ten. And I believe that zero is uncentered, ten is extremely powerful center. Mitchell's wolf hat, which I just started and tried to put on my face, is about a one. Um and this is about one and a half, perhaps two, so it's very, to me, lightly centered. And it could be because, you know, I have something with my nose, and that's just too bad. I was looking forward to this, but I'm not getting any, really any scent at all. Very slight lavendery scent, but it's very faint. Here is the Ouija blade. First use. Yaki Cob Non Adjustable When putting this on, perhaps the scent is a bit more about two and one and a half. Yeah, but it's not something that you know is right there on your face. It's pleasant, it's nice, it's nice protection. It's a very sharp blade, in my experience. I've noticed I've left this area here for last, and that's my most sensitive area. We'll go ahead and shoot that now. Slickness. So, 
Whoa, untie it, sorry. <laughs> Listen to this. Some nice clouds. This is nice. To Mitchell Swolfan because my Tesla it had some of the same feel in terms of the quality of the soap. You know, feels almost like your head is, is wrestling on a um, is resting on a nice soft cloudy pillow. How are you? Doing well? How's your week? Have you got Plans for your weekend.
I have to stop now, <clears throat> otherwise I'm... my skin's going to hurt. I only shave dealing with cold water. Nothing else. Oh. It was very much bad about that last shift that I uh, had because the video, because it was the best shift I've ever had, you know? Very sad. Oh, cut myself there. Now, for an against the growth of the chips. Now remember, do not add any pressure. Now I'm still kind of new to this. So especially now this time when I shave, when I'm tired, I make mistakes. I'll just clean up everything and I'll get back to you in the post shave. Look on. Welcome back. Let's see how we did. This is off. It's okay. Again, it's got some very nice protection, this. <sighs> nice slickness. <sighs> Alan Block. Let's see how we get feedback. Really, anything yet? This is usually just a trouble spot. Nothing but very light, slight tingle here and there. A little here. But nothing else. Cannot argue with the shop though. Even though my expectations from the scent. It's going to be higher, I must say. But 
was I buy the cup and the splash? No, I won't. Even though it is a great soap. Um, it needs some more, basically more scent. Now, let this stay on for about a minute. You can fast forward 60 seconds. I'm just going to clean up, put something away. Let it there dry. Now, a minute almost has passed and we'll rinse it off. Just dip your skin here on the neck. I had not decided on aftershave, but I have now. Flea switch hazel, unscented. But as you can see, it's quite air grayish because I've added menthol to it. There it is. Have a wonderful Friday tomorrow. We're going to wait and we'll see you in the weekend.